我退段嘢。I came to use the restroom, and here you are, avoiding me. So when are you coming around? Does it mean you cannot stop this nonsense? You are someone very close to my boss. And so what? You're too unique to be caught just with one person. There is an opportunity for us to start soon. Why don't we explain? I do not see any opportunity here, Miss Fix It. All I see is a desperate woman, and sincerely, I am not happy this is coming from you. You know I have my eyes on you. All I need from you is just say yes, and I'll take care of the rest. You have to get your eyes at me. I will not disrespect my boss by going out with a friend. You are a very beautiful woman. And you can get any man of your choice. Please, let us maintain this business relationship we share. Lady what? Oh, Lady D. You're here. What is going on here? Oh, I came to use the restroom. And I saw him sit here. So I decided to seek his expert opinion on this contract I'm pushing at the airport. What did he say? God really is just an expert. Thank you for your beautiful suggestion. I'll follow it up. Doesn't mean she hasn't gone to the restroom since. See, I do not know what she was telling you, but do not listen to her. So you're the one I should listen to. Wait a minute. Does that mean she was lying to me? What exactly do you all want from me? What all this? Come on, girl, to me. <sighs> Can you start talking now? Start talking about what? I told you I desperately want to go down with this guy. So why did you start hitting at him? Is that what he told you? Why would he tell you that? I only asked for his expert opinion. And he made a very excellent suggestion. So why did he tell you something else? Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. Hey. Were you going to confront him or what? Anyways, I'm impressed with your reactions. It simply means you were not lying to me after all. Hmm? Wait a minute. You mean he did not say anything to you? You made this all up to achieve exactly what? Come on. I told you that I really want to go down with this boy. And I must achieve that. Do you want me to tell you the truth? I'm all it. You need help. <laughs> I will see to the end of it. Someone is working against me. And I don't know who. How do you mean? I just received a call from Ezumi Upu of Ubuduhu telling me that my chieftaincy title will not hold anymore. 
Wait a minute. Is that the king who wanted to give you chieftaincy? Oh, almighty! Ezomi Fuku of Obuduku. Oh, come on. That is huge. What is huge, the clan? I calm down. He even told me to send my account details to the palace secretary so that they can refund me the money I paid for their certification with the Ministry of Chieftaincy Affairs. Oh, that's very serious. What happened? I think someone blew the whistle on me from the government house. And I don't know who. Hold on, hold on. Is that what the king told you or you're trying to make it up? Because I don't think anybody can do that to you from the government house. Honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore. I needed the chieftaincy title for a lot of things. Greetings, boss. Greetings. Well, boss, the woman from Igo Kitchen called in. She has asked me to inform you that the quotation for the occasion is ready. Meanwhile, she has been calling and you're not taking your calls. Godwin, tell her that I'll see her much later. Okay, boss. I will excuse you. I don't know what is going through your mind. Or whatever it is, kill it, or I'll kill you myself. Why would you say it like that? Listen, Victor, let me tell you something. I went through the eye of a needle to get that young man, and I know what is costing me to still keep him here. If you want yours, get one. Hold on. Mrs. Briggs, are you really going to kill me because of a man? Declan, not just a man, but one that means the world to me. Do not say I did not warn you. Did you see the fire in her eyes? The fire in her eyes. I don't understand what that means. That daughter of a snake wants you. Is that what she told you? She doesn't have to say anything to me. I saw it in her eyes. Listen, you belong to me and I'm not ready to share you with any woman. Are we clear on this? Hey. You've made your point, but I thought you trusted me. Of course I trust you, but you are up against a highly connected woman. She will come after you with every weapon at her disposal. Do not play into her hands. <laughs> I have noticed that since um, I told you to stay away from the clan, that you've been behaving very funny. Can you explain it? In all honesty, Declan is the least of my worries right now. So, what is your worry? I've told you to let me know whenever you need anything. I don't need anything. I don't. I just want to be allowed to go back to my house sometimes. I practically live here with you and that is not part of the plan. You know what, sweetheart? The way we were when we started is no longer the way we are now. You have become a part of my life and letting you out of my sight has become a problem to me. How is that a problem? But you told me, how is that a problem? I can always go and then come back. 
I just want to go to my house sometimes. I'm actually thinking you should get rid of that house and move in with me permanently. What? How can you even say a thing like that? I am a man and I need a house I can call my own. And this is the place. Call here your own and stop getting distracted. I think I just saved this topic for another day. Just make up your mind and everything is yours. Hello, Mr. Commissioner. Yes, I called you because um, I've not heard from you since the last time we spoke. What? The contract has been awarded to someone else? How? Who? I mean, to my friend. Huh. But why? For goodness sake, I am a stakeholder in this government. I should be in the know when anything happens. If there's any new thing I should know, Another one is coming out, a bigger one. It's okay. No problem. Okay, bye. Ha. Damn. So, fix it can do this. Ambassador Martins is doing all these things in her favor. No. I can't take this. No. I just need to know that everything is for the good of our relationship. How exactly do you want me to believe you? When you form the habit of constantly ignoring me, You will not call me. If I call you, you will not pick. How in this world am I supposed to believe everything is all right? Well, that is the word. Everything is all right. You see, I work with a woman who needs me to go through every file and document over and over again before they are submitted. Thus, are voluminous contract agreements. Sometimes it takes us days to put together. Okay? You didn't acknowledge one million I put in your account. God, we don't give me that. You know me too well. Money is not my problem, so don't even use money to entice me. I need you. I need you always. It's the same from this end. Darling, this is just a face. Okay? I want you to keep bearing with me. Very soon, everything will be fine. Where are you? Am I seeing you today? Well, darling, you see, I am... I'm working on a trip to Tinaba with you. Yes, I, I need us to put all this behind us and... be in a new world. I think it'll do us a great deal. Wow. That's actually romantic. So, when are we going? Well, I'll keep you updated on that. But, I need you to know that I love you. I love you too, my love. I will love you forever. I don't know why you're pained about this. I only talked to Ambassador Martin to help me out with something. And he came up with this. I never knew the commission already promised you the contract. And why did you not mention it to us? Why? You now talk back at me because you are screwing Ambassador Martins. Oh, you don't use that tone with me because I did nothing here. Everything must not always be about you. Calm down, ladies. Please. Did you hear what she said? 
Did you hear what she said? And you're freaking telling me to calm down. This lady stabbed me in the back. I don't think so. Yes. She did not go for the contract herself. Rather, Ambassador Martins did. I mean, listening to all her explanations, I understand what happened there. So I need you to calm down to understand her too. Don't freaking tell me to calm down. What are you saying? You're not telling me that you're supporting what she's doing? Oh no. No. I'm, I'm just trying to make peace for both of you, that's all. Just peace, you know. Hmm? We are like sisters in the same line of business. We shouldn't allow things that we can handle as adults that have seen money to divide us. That's exactly my point. How did Bula knew this was why I was asked to come here? I wouldn't have been here. I'm not Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Come back. Did you hear her? You heard her, right? She now talks back at me because of Ambassador Martin. Can you please stop calling this innocent man's name? He has nothing to do with this. He has everything to do with it. But I will show him that we are the ones who rig and win elections. Can you at least tell me what the problem is? Why the well, argument? Don't mind your boss. It's okay. I can handle that. I was actually upset. But seeing you now, I'm a little bit calm. Not to worry. We'll talk later, okay? Just pick your call when my call comes through. Sometimes I wonder what they think of me. I wonder. Stop making excuses for her. She drew the battle line when she walked out on me. And I will crush her. Please calm down. You are going too far and I don't want it. I believe it wasn't intentional. Well, you heard what she said. She said that everything must not go through me. That means this whole thing has been going on for a very long time. Still calm down. Please. We cannot reach that conclusion yet. Hmm? Mrs. Briggs. You know what? Helping people is never my thing. Because they will always stab you in the back. It didn't start today. Now you are reading wide meanings into this. I do not want you to do that. Please. Hmm? Nobody is turning against you here, believe me. I don't know why you're here making a case for Mrs. Briggs. I did not do anything wrong. I need you to calm down. Both of you cannot be upset at the same time. I believe she misunderstood this whole thing. Then the dice is on her and not me. Mm -mm. I disagree with you. You owe her a duty to explain to her. Lady D. I owe her no explanations, and I'm very serious about this. Fix it. Listen, I still need you to calm down. Hmm? This is not a way to handle a matter that has to do with the leader. This is where I even have the bigger problem. Who made her the leader of this gang in the first place? She always wants everything to be about her and her alone. 
is selfishness. The time has come for that to be put to an end. Are you sure someone is not propelling you from somewhere? Oh, I take that as an insult because you know no one is propelling me. That woman's mode of operation is beginning to get at me and I'm determined to end it. Oh, yeah, be calming down. Just calm down. Relax. Hmm? We are one. We shouldn't be having this kind of issues. Come on. Fix it. Oh, please. Fix it. <laughs> Come down. Lady Declan, what is the meaning of the stunt? My boss is not in this guest house, as you said. Why? I know. <laughs> I asked her to stay in my house. She's secured there. I don't get it. My boss is in your house. Mm -hmm. Yet you lured me to this place. Why? <laughs> if only you can give me what I want. If only you can become less of a monk. I will appreciate it. <laughs> I can't believe I... I listened to you. I can't believe I came down to this place for this nonsense. Oh. I know what you want in life. Believe me, I'm here to make your dreams come true. Come, we have the whole night to ourselves. Lady Declan. Are you really this pathetic? Oh, what's that? Can't you employ a better romantic way to address a beautiful lady? Hmm? It sickens me to know that you're so insensitive. Hmm. We have a massive secretariat that just collapsed. And over 45 people are wounded and many more hospitalized. We have seven dead already, and all you can think about is sex. Why not? Why not? Oh, come on. Godwin, I was with Mrs. Briggs a few hours ago. She has met the necessary codes, believe me. The case is dead. It has died. A natural death. So let's leave the dead. And enjoy yourselves, come on. Nothing can ever happen between us. I am not a saint. But I am principled enough to know that I would be stupid to do that which you want of me. This will remain with me forever. But don't push me, else I lose it. Test is what they do. Something I reject is what they want. So why should I keep on hanging around these folks? I might not be a saint, but I'm principled enough to live a clean life. I might not be the best, but somewhere, somehow, I'm reasonable. My reputation, my priority To be a good citizen to this society Focus on my dream, cause I still have my sanity And say goodbye to immorality They yeah, are living a dating life, so many crimes accumulating And the judges are there calculating Cause everyone now watching and these women never changing So many crimes accumulating And the judges are there calculating 
Cause everyone now watching And these women never changing Something I detest is what they do Something I reject is what they want So why should I keep on hanging around these folks? I might not be a saint But I'm principled enough to live a clean life I might not be the best But somewhere, somehow, I'm reasonable My reputation, my priority To be a good citizen to this society Focus on my dream, cause I still have my sanity And say goodbye to immorality They are living a dating life, so many crimes accumulating And the judges are there calculating Cause everyone now watching And these women never changing So many crimes accumulating And the judges are there calculating Cause everyone now watching And these women never changing